Hi folks, my name is Pastor Shalom Akterap. I am here in Tacoma, Washington, and I'm so grateful for this invitation from uh, Pastor Debbie to share a little bit about my faith practice uh, in this time of prayer and devotion. Um, one of the questions that she asked me to kind of think about is what is a faith practice you use how do you use it? How does it nurture your faith uh, or my relationship with God? And one super consistent faith practice that I use, I drew from a book by Joyce Rupp, Sister Joyce Rupp. She is one of my favorite spiritual authors. And uh, she asked these two simple questions. Um, how are you my teacher and what am I to learn? And I love that. So if somebody cuts you off <laughs> um, in line at the grocery store or while you're driving, um, if uh, an upsetting email comes through my inbox uh, and, I'm, and I'm feeling kind of hijacked emotionally and I have all these feelings, um, how are you my teacher and what am I to learn? Allows me just to hold it this much, just a couple inches away from me so it doesn't feel like I can't breathe and it allows me to be curious about it and it allows me to invite the Holy Spirit into that. Um, always a, a posture of curiosity, always a posture of um, inviting the Holy Spirit into something, right? So I don't feel personally attacked as if I'm without an advocate. I also ask it when there are like really beautiful things that emerge as well. How are you my teacher and what am I to learn? Maybe I'm to learn to slow down. Maybe I'm to learn to uh, savor time with my two-year-old. Maybe it's about uh, not rushing here and there, uh, but taking my time and noticing along the way. If it's true, and I believe it, that God is always present in all things, uh, I don't have to go too far to look for that lesson, right? So how are you my teacher and what am I to learn? I hope that can be helpful to you in your discipleship journey as well.